On October 17th, Nelda Majors and Karen Bailey became the first same-sex couple to obtain a marriage license in Phoenix. They won their long court battle for marriage equality in the state of Arizona. Now these ladies can potentially take advantage of three important retirement income benefits that they didn't have before saying, I do. Many people in retirement rely on three sources of income, social security, pensions, and personal savings. And each of these sources is impacted by the change in the law. Now, number one is social security. Now, when a single person nears retirement, they are faced with the decision regarding when to begin taking social security benefits. And for most single people, the decision is fairly straightforward. Marriage, however, complicates the when to take social security decision in a good way. Now, the reason is that there are many more options for married couples to maximize their joint retirement income. In our office, we use sophisticated software tools when working with clients to determine the best strategy for their needs. Now, additionally, marriage impacts a not so fun to talk about part of a couple's retirement plan. This is what I refer to as the ring around the rosy wish. Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. <laughs> not to be morbid, but there's a romantic fantasy that a married couple will all fall down together. Now the reality is that this rarely happens. Therefore, maximizing widow and widower benefits is a very important part of implementing a complete retirement plan. Survivor benefits work like this. When the first partner passes away, the survivor visits their Social Security office. The workers at Social Security then review the benefits for both partners and pay the surviving spouse the greater of their benefit or their spouse's benefit. Since it's very rare for couples to have identical Social Security benefits, this represents an income increase for approximately half of these newly married couples. Now the second area of retirement income is pension income. Now when an individual retires, they are usually given a choice on how to receive the pension from their employer. Now one option is a single life annuity in which the employer writes the retired employee a check for their lifetime. When they die, hmm, so does their pension. Now the second option is a joint life annuity which provides income for as long as either of you shall live. In most circumstances, it is best for married couples to elect this income payout option. Although this always means that the monthly check is smaller, this option provides income security for the surviving spouse. Likewise, there are expanded income benefits for the third source of retirement income, personal savings. Now, there are several ways to use your personal savings to meet your retirement income needs, but a popular alternative is the use of annuities to provide lifetime income. Now, some annuities allow for joint life payouts that are only available for married couples. Now, a joint life income payout works very similar to the previous pension option. Like the pension, the joint payout will pay income for the life of both partners. The bad news is, again, that the monthly income check will be smaller than the joint payout. There's one important thing you should be aware of. Not all annuity contracts 
allow for joint life payouts. I find time and time again that an annuity is pitched showing a single life payout. However, when it comes time to begin taking income benefits, the annuity owners have a rude awakening. They discover that the contracts do not allow for a joint payout. Now, if you are considering purchasing an annuity to provide retirement income, be sure that the joint payout option is allowed in the contract you are contemplating. Also, insist to the agent that the benefit which is illustrated covers both of you. Now, if you own an existing policy, be sure and call the insurance company 800 number today. Find out if you can elect a joint payout for your existing policy. If your contract only covers you and not your spouse, it may be time to consider replacing that contract with one that is more inclusive. Congratulations to all the new newlyweds in Arizona. I hope that you can live and retire happily ever after. This has been a Loki production.